Hello, welcome to this playlist. This playlist called Introduction to Daylight Analysis in Climate Studio and what you'll be seeing in this playlist. In this playlist, you'll be seeing a lot of different daylight analysis within Climate Studio. We'll start with point in time and luminance, which can be seen here, and then we'll see different types of, uh, like we'll, we'll check how much locks the sensors are receiving uh, on a particular time of the year for instance this is winter this is summer solstice this is winter solstice and then we'll run glare analysis and then we'll run lead compliance analysis for different kinds of different kinds of uh, iterations such as this one that one where we increasing this glazing size or decreasing this glazing size and so on and so forth and then we'll be also running two types of lead analysis like lead option one lead option two i'll be explaining this in more detail what lead option one is relying on spatial daylight autonomy and annual sunlight exposure whereas option two is relying on the average lux that the spaces or the sensors are receiving particular time of the day such as 9 a.m and 3 p.m and then we'll be running this analysis for different options to get more credits you know we are receiving no credits no credits two credits again for lead option two no credits and then again like no credits and then we'll take a look at another like a metric system which is bream building research establishment group which is from uk and then we'll check different designs, different anal different type of uh, BREAM systems or BREAM metrics. And then we'll check another metric, which is called EN 17037, which is basically taking a closer look at these kind of like results, uh, such as room compliances or window groups, okay? Or like the again, room compliance, but this time, showing in different daylight autonomy values ranging to 0 to 500 lux, uh, 75, 750 lux and so on and so forth. And then we'll be running a custom daylight analysis that shows us the useful daylight illuminance as well, which is again touched upon in the previous playlist with Honeybee, but uh, desired value between 300 and 3000 lux. Over 2000 will cause a glare in here. We can see that glare actually here and here as well. And here as well. That is um, that is also can be tracked with the annual sun exposure analysis or average lux, or like we are checking the blinds. But you may see these blinds are the latest version. So if I come over here. We can see different types of glazings as such. So also I'll go through the variations, uh, etc. for these types of analysis. So I hope you will enjoy this playlist. Please make sure like this video or all the videos and subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a nice day.